Hello, question number 25. This question says, opening of a glass bottle containing uh, an ideal monatomic gas is tightly closed with a car fitted with a thin frictionless glass tube of cross-sectional area S. The inner volume of the tube is negligibly small as compared to the volume of the bottle and that volume of the bottle is capital V. A small glass marble of mass M when dropped in the tube it starts oscillating up and down in the tube without friction. The marble exactly fits inside the tube so that there is no leakage of air. Denoting atmosphere pressure by P0, find the expression for the period of oscillations of the marble. Treat the glass, cork, and the material of the marble as perfectly insulator of heat. So this is a picture. Let me re-explain what it says. There is a glass tube here, and there's a, uh, there's a tube, and there's a marble on this tube, which is not allowing the air to cross, and uh, it is oscillating. So we need to find out its time period of oscillation. So let's uh, see the solution. Here's the solution. First thing is going to be equation for equilibrium of the glass marble. So when this glass marble was at equilibrium, what was the equation that was governing it? So let's consider this small picture of that uh, tube on which this glass marble was there. Let's say it was the equilibrium situation. At equilibrium, you will find the air pressure from upside will apply a force on it. And that force is going to be P0 into S. This is the first point to understand. Uh, the air pressure on this glass marble is uh, P0 into S. We are using the cross-sectional area of, of that glass. That's going to work over here. And uh, there's going to be gravitation force acting, and there's going to be pressure force because of the gas inside, because the two pressures are different. So uh, force balance will say Ps, the pressure force of the gas is going to be equal to atmospheric pressure force plus gravity. So let's say this is, here we have assumed this P to be the pressure of the gas. After this equilibrium situation, we are going to shift this uh, marble, let's say downward by a small amount x. And then we will see when it comes here, then how much restoring force acts on this marble ball. And um, then after we will be checking that force. So that restoring force is going to be now written as the air pressure force by the, uh, or the pressure force of the gas inside, uh, minus this atmosphere pressure minus gravity. But there will be no change by the force of, or on the force of the gra uh, this atmosphere pressure. And neither there will be change in the force of gravity, so they will remain the same. Only the pressure force of the gas will change. So this P dash will become the new pressure of this gas. Now we know uh, everything is insulator of heat, so that's going to be adiabatic process. For adiabatic process, we know PV raised to power gamma remains constant. So initially and finally they will be equal. So um, P dash is the final pressure. V dash is let's say final volume of the gas. And PV was initial parameters, raised to power, uh, it, it, there will be gamma. Gamma is going to be 1 plus 2 by F. F is the degrees of freedom. For monoatomic gas, this gamma turned out to be 5 by 3. So from here, we will be able to find the pressure of the gas at the later stage, or uh, when this was released over here at this stage. So P dash is going to be equal to P, V divided by V dash, raised to power gamma, and gamma we know. Now, let's talk about what this V prime is, the V dash volume is. When this uh, glass marble goes downside, so certain amount of this amount of volume will reduce of the gas. So the new volume is going to be the old volume minus cross-sectional area of the glass, uh, the dust tube into X. And then we, we are requiring V divided by V dash raised per gamma. So let's consider V divided by V dash, which is going to be uh, V divided by V minus as x raised to power gamma, we are taking this gamma power as well. Now this sx is going to be small, definitely. And uh, what we can do, we can divide upside and downside by v. So uh, it will be 1 upon 1 minus sx raised sx by v, whole raised to power gamma. So we can take this denominator upside and put the uh, power as minus gamma. Now, from here, it's clear that this term is very, very small as compared to 1. So, binomial approximation we can apply there. And that, as per that, this power will be multiplying in this number. So, it will become 1 plus gamma into Sx divided by V. 
so this is the value of the expression v divided by v prime raised to power gamma and this we require where to get this pressure now so we uh, this final pressure is going to be basically p into that expression which is 1 plus gamma now we can put the value of gamma which is 5 by 3 so 5 sx by 3v this is the new pressure now this p prime we need to substitute on this restoring force so this 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 term will become just multiplied by capital s so it first term will be ps second term will be uh, 5 ps square x divided by 3v and then there will be these two terms coming in as such if you look carefully then this ps is combination of these two terms that means ps is combination of these two terms so this will get cancelled out ultimately we are going to get it as a restoring force which is uh, 5 ps square divided by 3v into x now we got that this restoring force is directly proportional to x which is the condition for simple harmonic motion that means this uh, marble ball is going to perform SHM as the question says and its time period is going to be t is equal to 2 pi m divided by this k equivalent this k equivalent is 5 ps square divided by 3v so this 3v will go go upside now this p is the pressure of the gas that we have considered right and the uh, this can be replaced in the given quantities like p naught mg so from here this ps can be written as uh, p naught s plus mg and into s there will be one s remaining and there will be five so final answer will be t is equal to 2 pi under root 3 mv divided by 5 within bracket p naught s plus mg into final s so that is our ultimate answer and you will say this is correct response thank you